Next tonight, the March of Dimes is out with its annual report card on maternal and infant health. And for the third year in a row, the U.S. gets a D plus due to its high preterm birth rate. Well, those are babies born before 37 weeks gestation. The March of Dimes report finding the rate of preterm births remained at 10.4% last year, unchanged from the previous year. But the numbers get more concerning. One third of the 100 U.S. cities with the greatest number of births got an F in that preterm birth grade. That includes Buffalo that had a preterm birth rate of 12.8% last year. In the U.S., preterm birth is a leading cause of infant deaths. Let's ask the pediatrician about this. Our Tuesday regular, Dr. Steve Turkovich, is back here with us. He's president at Oshai Children's Hospital. Thanks so much for coming in. My pleasure. So those preterm deaths, um, it's a bunch of numbers, right? And we see what the grades are. How do you put that into context of how serious an issue this is? Well, premature birth has a long-term uh, set of consequences for babies. Um, obviously, death is, is one of those, and that's very concerning, but also, long-term uh, chronic conditions in, in children and in adulthood. You know, there's many reasons why we see this. Uh, one of them is the increasing rate of chronic illnesses in moms, most significantly hypertension. The other thing is we're seeing many more maternity deserts, so there's lack of access to prenatal care. And in this newest report, they talk about environmental factors, mm -hmm. exposure to extreme heat and air pollution as two of the leading causes of premature birth. So a lot of things are moving in the wrong direction that are increasing that rate and unfortunately affecting moms and babies. Yeah, how do you turn that around? That's really tough. Um, really, you want to make sure that you can ac increase access to care through um, more OBs, more midwives, especially in rural areas, and really have a conscious effort focusing on disparities because we see a significant disparities between white uh, pregnant women and black pregnant women. Mm, so important. Uh, the other thing I want to ask you about, it is that time of year where, you know, when I get off the air every night, it is pitch black outside, mm -hmm. right? And that's the case also for kids. They're coming home from school now and it's almost dark already. We hear about seasonal affective disorder, yep. sad every year. And some people, I think, just sort of scoff at it. It's a, it's a real thing, right? Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people are feeling it now, especially as we turn the clocks back and it yeah. is dark when you're coming home from school and from work. Um, there's a couple things we can do. Number one, exercise is really helpful. Uh, but the first line therapy is actually light therapy. Our brain is very much in tune with our circadian rhythm to lights. And one of the things you can do is get a light box and use it first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. It helps to wake up your brain. It stimulates multiple things happening. Um, and so if you do that for about an hour in the morning, that should help decrease some of the effects of seasonal affective disorder. I need to take these big lights we have in the studio to my desk. Maybe that would get <laughs> that might work. some light. <laughs> Dr. Steve Turkovich, president at Oshai Children's Hospital. Good to see you. Thank you. You too.